Hi, everybody. Today, we are exploring the specific benefits and ROI of a data observability solution. Further building upon a previous video, which laid out what data observability is and why it's important in today's climate. If you haven't already watched that, hit pause now. You can find the link in the description below. And if you have, well then welcome and let's get started. I'm gonna start with a typical overview of a data journey. Before we do that, I wanna call out two personas within an organization that we're gonna be highlighting in our example below. Those are data producers and data consumers. Producers are your data engineers and your data platform teams, whereas consumers are your ML engineers, data analysts, and data scientists. Both of these groups are going to see mutual benefit as well as unique benefit to each by implementing an observability solution. So like I said, let's get started with this overview of a typical data journey. So as you can see below, we have our sources. Um, we have our lake house, we have our warehouse, and we have our access. The journey begins with the data engineer ingesting raw data from various sources into the lake house. The data engineer then transforms and loads the data into the lake house, performing the necessary cleansing and standardization. That cleansed data is then processed for storage within the data warehouse. The data scientist can then access that data to perform any relevant models, training, analyses, et cetera. Now, this seems pretty straightforward, but what we're seeing um, is actually what we're not seeing, which is the risks and everything going on behind the scenes throughout this data journey. So at the data ingestion point, your data engineer has ingested raw data from various source. However, unbeknownst to them, um, a subtle issue arises during that ingestion process where certain um, records are misconfigured or formatted incorrectly. As the data engineer then transforms and loads the data into the lake house, unintentionally, a transformation script introduces a bug that alters the value of a specific column, impacting downstream analyses. The cleanse data that's then stored in a warehouse, however, due to misconfiguration, certain data is actually duplicated during that loading process. Now the data scientist who was so excited about conducting all these analyses with the data that they've received is unaware of all these incidents that have occurred before and is now completing models with inaccurate and unreliable data. In this current state, your data producers are entirely overwhelmed and they're constantly fighting fires. And your data consumers are also really frustrated because they're unable to perform the correct models that they want to do. Neither of these personas can focus on what it is that they're skilled to do. That's because their data is unreliable. So let's try now associate some numbers with this common scenario. A typical engineer will spend roughly 10 to 30% of their time just uncovering data issues. Additionally, they'll spend, again, between 10 and 30% of their time resolving those issues. So let's say 20% for both. So based on a 40-hour work week, we work about 1,920 hours annually. Now, if we multiply that by this combined 40% um, of time, in today's environment, data engineers are spending approximately 777 hours just identifying and resolving data issues. Let's break that down a little bit further. Let's say, you know, on average, a data engineer has an annual salary of 100K. That correlates to about $52 per hour. If we multiply the $52 by an hour by the 777 hours that they're spending, that is $40,000 
that is being spent just detecting and resolving data issues. I think we can all agree that is not a very good use of time. Data engineers need to be able to detect things earlier, especially unknown data incidents. When they are reactive in nature, they're forced to rely on their data analysts or data scientists to uncover data issues. This often means that data qualities are discovered too late or, in fact, not at all. Data observability is this more shift-left approach, detecting things as they occur at the source and allowing for you to resolve them before it actually gets to that access layer. The outcome of this and where we see three core improvements with a data observability solution are mean time to detection, With a data observability solution in place, mean time to detection becomes almost instantaneous. Most, al most alerts that fire are in real time. The second one is mean time to resolution. Improving mean time to resolution is all about helping the data platform teams quickly walk through the context of the problem such as where the problem is occurring, why it's occurring, and then resolving it as quickly as possible. The last core metric is overall enhanced data quality. All of these things rule together to improve things for your data consumer. Data scientists and ML engineers rely, again, on this high-quality data to do their high-value tasks, um, like training and deploying accurate models. So by the data producers using an observability tool, it helps them establish trust in their data and really focus on those high-value tasks rather than wasting time doing activities like uncovering bad data and, and, and sending things back to their producers. So... We talked about earlier how we got to this 40% number. I'm just going to jot them down here so that we recall them. So we said the average mean time to detection between 10 and 30%, we're saying 20. Again, for same thing for resolution. And currently data quality is low and untrusted. So now let's re-explore this example of a data journey, but this time imagining that you have a data observability solution in place. So now at your data ingestion site at the source, a data observability solution immediately flags any improperly formatted records during that ingestion. Data engineers re receive their alerts in real time, allowing them to rectify the issues very promptly. Once we get to the transformation and loading section, where previously um, we had a bug that altered values in a specific column, um, these again are instantly identified. Your data engineers have received a notification allowing for them to correct um, that bug and ensuring that it's not impacting any downstream analyses. With this in place, the data engineer resolves the transformation in real time. In the data warehouse, we had some misconfigurations that caused data duplication. These are now being detected in real time um, during that loading process. And again, the alerts are notifying the engineers, allowing for them to make the necessary configuration adjustments, preventing redundant data in the warehouse. Lastly, at our access layer, our data scientist is now working with more transparent and reliable data set, therefore encountering fewer anomalies during their model training. And they're now experiencing a smoother and more efficient model training process with improved data quality. So for each of these different stages, the alerts have been fired and everything is quickly resolved resulting in better data quality at the end. If we bring this back to our little calculation by implementing a data observability solution, 
your mean time to detection can be reduced from 20% to 1%. So essentially real time. Your mean time to resolution will be increased by 2x by surfacing the root cause analysis and exposing any downstream impacts. So since this is 2x, this will be resolved to 10%. And then lastly, your data quality that was previously very low and untrusted now is very high and trusted. Now, if we come back to the example below, uh, before, um, when we were talking about how much time a single engineer is spending just uncovering and resolving data issues, by implementing a data observability solution and using these, um, these new numbers that we have around mean time to detection and mean time to resolution, you will be saving your data engineers 680 hours of work annually. If we take that back to the average salary of a data engineer, the $52, hour, $52 per hour, that results in a $33,000 cost savings annually for single data engineer. So imagine the possibilities of what you could save with a data observability solution with an engineering team of 10, 50, 100. Well, lucky for you, you don't actually have to imagine it. You can just click the link in the description below this video and find out just how much ROI a data observability solution can bring your organization today. If you like this video and want to see more like it, please like and subscribe. If you have questions, please drop them in the comments below.